Hello, fellow enthusiasts of the finer things in life. Today, we embark on an intriguing journey delving into the opulent world of Tyler James Williams, where we unravel the layers of his success and the lavish lifestyle that comes with it. As a seasoned journalism expert, I am thrilled to be your guide through the corridors of wealth, exploring not only Tyler's impressive net worth but also taking a peek into the luxurious mansion he calls home and the sleek cars that grace his driveway. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Tyler James Williams is an American actor and rapper who has a net worth of $5 million. Widely recognized for his portrayal of a young Chris Rock in the UPN, CW series, Everybody Hates Chris, 2005 to 2009, Williams left an indelible mark on audiences with his comedic prowess and authentic performances. More recently, he graced the small screen as Gregory Eddy in ABC's Abbott Elementary, 2021 to present, showcasing his versatility in navigating diverse roles. In a testament to his outstanding contributions, Tyler James Williams earned a well-deserved Primetime Emmy nomination in 2022 for his compelling performance on Abbott Elementary, solidifying his status as a respected and accomplished figure in the entertainment industry. Tyler James Williams, born on October 9, 1992, in Westchester County, New York, is a seasoned American actor with a fascinating journey that began at a tender age. His parents, Counselor Angela Williams and retired Police Sergeant Leroy Williams, played pivotal roles in shaping his early life. Williams, demonstrating an early passion for the arts, embarked on his acting career at the remarkable age of four. In the late 90s, Williams garnered attention with a noteworthy three-episode appearance on Saturday Night Live, showcasing his budding talent alongside notable figures like Heather Graham, Mark Anthony, John Goodman, Neil Young, Jack Black, and John Mayer. His versatility extended to voice acting, lending his talents to six episodes of the Nickelodeon series, Little Bill, from 2000 to 2002. A show created by the iconic Bill Cosby. Simultaneously, he became a familiar face on Sesame Street in the year 2000, enriching the lives of young viewers. The silver screen beckoned Tyler James Williams in his adolescence, marking his film debut with an uncredited role in the sports drama, Two for the Money, where he shared the screen with legends Al Pacino and Matthew McConaughey. His television presence continued to grow, with a guest appearance on Law & Order Special Victims Unit in the same year. However, it was from 2005 to 2009 that Williams truly captured hearts, starring as the young Chris Rock in the UPN CW series, Everybody Hates Chris. Drawing inspiration from the life of Chris Rock, the narrative of the series revolves around the protagonist, portrayed by the 12-year-old Tyler James Williams, navigating life within his working-class family in the vibrant backdrop of Brooklyn. The inaugural season garnered significant acclaim, earning the show a prestigious Golden Globe Award nomination. Nevertheless, the tides shifted when UPN merged with the WB to birth the CW network, leading to a decline in the show's viewership. While the official explanation from the cast was a dwindling audience, there are speculative reports online suggesting that the CW sought to pivot away from both comedic content and shows with predominantly black casts, genres that had previously defined the network's popularity. The discerning cast, including Tyler James Williams, sensed the impending fate of the show as they witnessed its gradual decline. In a candid statement to CBS, Williams reflected on the absurdity of the situation, noting, it got to the point where Chris was doing the voiceovers, and my voice was deeper than his. It just didn't make sense. Faced with the prospect of an abrupt cancellation and a lack of closure for the viewers, Chris Rock took matters into his own hands. Opting for a proactive approach, he decided that the central character would drop out of high school, providing a fitting conclusion to the narrative. Terry Crews, who portrayed the character Julius, shed light on Rock's decision, stating to Bossip, Chris Rock didn't graduate high school and started comedy when he was like 17 years old. Our Chris, Tyler James Williams, is now a sophomore in high school, so the timing is lining up pretty well. Once he becomes a comedian, the show's over. Following its cancellation in 2009 after a successful four-season run, the cast of the show embarked on diverse and prosperous careers within the entertainment industry. The program, having achieved cult classic status, found a new life in syndication. Tyler, however, faced a significant and frightening detour in his life due to a severe health crisis that momentarily disrupted his career trajectory. Describing the alarming experience, he recounted, 
I wake up on February 14th, and my body is vibrating. It's the best way I could describe it, violently vibrating, shaking uncontrollably, and I don't know what's wrong. Post the show's conclusion, Tyler expressed a lack of nostalgia for his time on the program. Likening it to high school, a chapter one seldom wishes to revisit. When discussing the show on Twitter, he revealed that recalling specific episodes proved challenging, with his memories largely blending into one comprehensive recollection. Opting for further education, Tyler enrolled at New York University as a drama major, yet his college tenure was marked by conflict. He admitted to being combative with most professors, intentionally crafting papers that challenged conventional perspectives. Displeased with the prospect of sacrificing four years of work for full-time education, he made the decision to drop out after a mere two and a half months. Despite this divergence from the academic path, Tyler continued his artistic pursuits. He delved into music, collaborating with his brother Terrell on a successful mixtape that garnered pride and acclaim. Maintaining a strategic distance from comedies to evade typecasting, Tyler ventured into voice acting roles and secured small but meaningful parts in television shows. Notably, he made an appearance on Lab Rats alongside his younger brother Tyrell, showcasing his versatile talent and resilience in navigating the evolving landscape of the entertainment industry. Embarking on his journey at the tender age of 19, he found himself grappling with recurring gastrointestinal issues that initially struck on a weekly basis. Despite being employed at the time, he endeavored to soldier on, concealing his health challenges as best as he could. However, as time unfolded, what started as a weekly occurrence evolved into a daily struggle. Seeking answers, he consulted multiple doctors who posited possibilities ranging from lactose intolerance to food allergies. The protracted quest for a diagnosis finally culminated in the revelation that he was suffering from Crohn's disease. The turning point came on January 31, 2017, when an emergency room visit unveiled the severity of his condition extensive intestinal scarring causing a debilitating blockage. Urgent intervention became imperative, leading to emergency surgery where six inches of his small intestine were excised. Initially hopeful that this marked the end of his health woes, he faced an unforeseen ordeal. A two-week hospital stay ensued, during which his weight plummeted to a mere 105 pounds. Anticipating his release on Valentine's Day with eagerness to resume normalcy, his optimism was shattered when, on February 14, 2017, he awoke with a fever and uncontrollable shaking. Rushed back into surgery, it was discovered that his intestines had split at the incision. Spilling contents into his body and triggering sepsis, a life-threatening cascade of reactions stemming from infection. Surviving the surgery, he emerged with repaired intestines and an ostomy, a surgically created opening in his abdomen facilitating the elimination of waste and urine. At the youthful age of 23, grappling with uncertainties about his future, he faced the challenge with resilience. Fortuitously, unwavering support from family and his then-girlfriend became the cornerstone of his recovery. After six weeks with an ostomy, he navigated his way back to health. Remarkably, he not only overcame this harrowing chapter but went on to make appearances in notable television series such as The Walking Dead, Criminal Minds, and Dear White People, showcasing his determination to triumph over adversity and reclaim his place in the entertainment industry. As the pandemic unfolded, he recognized the imperative of adopting heightened precautions to safeguard his health. Addressing his vulnerability in an Instagram post in August 2020, he candidly disclosed the challenges posed by his autoimmune disease underscoring the necessity of extra care. Despite this, daily responsibilities, such as walking his dog, compelled him to venture outside, prompting a plea to the public to maintain a distance. In a characteristically candid sign-off, he punctuated his message with a photo, defiantly flipping off the camera. Subsequently, he successfully navigated a return to work, securing the role of Gregory on Abbott Elementary. The unfolding of July 2021 brought news from Deadline that an animated series based on Everybody Hates Chris was in the developmental stages. Adding a new dimension to his professional trajectory. Amidst this resurgence, the prospect of a cast reunion has been discussed, the logistical challenges emerge due to the busy schedules of the cast members. Tyler acknowledged the blessing of their constant engagement in various projects, making coordination a formidable task. Dear viewers, Next we invite you to explore his car collection and mansion right now. Mansion in Studio City, Los Angeles. In the early months of 2012, 
actor Tyler James Williams made a significant real estate move. Acquiring a residence in Studio City, Los Angeles, for a sum of $1.2 million. Nestled on a serene cul-de-sac in Studio City Hills, this property spans 2,579 square feet and boasts an impressive layout featuring three bedrooms and three bathrooms. The charm of this abode is palpable, situated on a generously flat lot, a rarity in the region, providing breathtaking views of the Southern California landscape, adorned with palm trees and mountains. A distinguishing feature is the large double-sided wood-burning fireplace, strategically placed for use in both the study and living room. As you step inside, a den with a beverage station and spacious living area opens up to the backyard through elegant French doors. The outdoor space is truly a haven for nature enthusiasts, offering a delightful lanai with skylights, a spacious swimming pool, and a charming rose garden, an ideal setting for outdoor gatherings and entertainment. Practical conveniences are seamlessly integrated, such as a laundry room adjacent to the kitchen and a capacious three-car garage with ample storage space. The second and third bedrooms share a well-appointed bathroom, while the master suite serves as a comfortable retreat, featuring abundant closet space and an expansive bathroom. An additional set of French doors from the master suite provides a bright and open connection to the backyard. Emphasizing energy efficiency, the residence is adorned with new double-pane windows equipped with stylish plantation shutters. The elegant formal dining room offers the perfect setting for hosting large gatherings of friends or family. Adding to the allure of this property is its proximity to the vibrant offerings of Studio City, including top-rated schools, restaurants, and shopping. With easy access to both Los Angeles and the Valley, Tyler James Williams's Studio City abode stands as not just a home but a sanctuary in the heart of Southern California living. Another house in Studio City, Los Angeles. In June 2020, actor Tyler James Williams expanded his real estate portfolio, acquiring a second residence in Studio City, Los Angeles, for a cool $1 million. Spanning 1,255 square feet, this property is a contemporary gem featuring three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Situated in the sought-after Silver Triangle, just steps away from the bustling boulevard with its array of shops and dining options, this thoughtfully renovated home is a testament to modern elegance. The entire residence has undergone a comprehensive makeover, showcasing timeless block wall accents, luxurious flooring, sun-drenched living spaces, and custom design elements. The heart of the home is its brand new, state-of-the-art kitchen adorned with modern cabinetry, stainless steel appliances, and elegant quartz countertops. The great room-style living area seamlessly integrates a spacious living room and a flexible family dining room, creating an inviting and versatile living space. The three bedrooms, including a downstairs ensuite with a new ensuite, offer a perfect blend of comfort and style. Ascend the floating stairs to discover two more bedrooms, each with direct access to the backyard. The outdoor space is a true oasis, featuring a wraparound courtyard surrounded by natural landscaping, unique rock formations, and serene greenery, an ideal setting for any occasion. Remarkable features and upgrades abound, from new plumbing and windows to a new roof, air systems, electrical systems, and lighting, all contributing to the home's modern appeal. Noteworthy is its location within the highly regarded Carpenter Elementary School District. Emphasizing the family-friendly nature of the neighborhood, Shortly after acquiring this impressive residence, Tyler James Williams made a savvy move by renting it out for $8,400,000 a month, showcasing the investment potential of this modern marvel. With its strategic location and myriad of upgrades, this second Studio City abode adds another layer to Williams's real estate success story, perfectly positioned to enjoy all the wonderful offerings Studio City has to provide. To his house is truly gorgeous, isn't it, my audience? Next, we invite you to take a look at his shiny car collection right now. Cars. First in line is the sleek Nissan Altima, a car known for its reliability and modern design. Priced at a reasonable $25,000, it stands as an accessible yet stylish choice for those who appreciate both affordability and sophistication. Cruising into the second spot is the sophisticated Range Rover Sport, a symbol of luxury with a price tag of $121,000. This vehicle not only exudes elegance but also offers a powerful driving experience, combining comfort and performance in one sleek package. In the third position, we encounter the breathtaking McLaren 720S, a car that effortlessly captures attention with its stunning design. 
Priced at a hefty $336,000, this beauty is not just a mode of transportation but a statement of opulence and speed. Bringing up the rear is the Cadillac Escalade, a robust and stylish SUV that combines functionality with a touch of extravagance. With a price hovering around $81,000, this vehicle offers a perfect blend of luxury and utility, making it a popular choice among those who seek both comfort and a touch of glamour. Each car in his fleet tells a unique story, showcasing a blend of affordability, luxury, and pure automotive excellence. Among these cars, which one do you like the most? Please comment below. Personal life. In his adolescence, Tyler reportedly shared a romantic relationship with actress Kiki Palmer. A bond that played out on the small screen when he guest starred on her show, True Jackson, VP, in 2009. These youthful connections not only enriched Tyler's personal life but also provided glimpses into the interconnected world of Hollywood. Later on, Tyler found love in the world of music, entering a relationship with singer-songwriter Karina Pazian. Their connection was further immortalized in Pazian's 2014 music video, Solitaire, showcasing a blend of Tyler's acting skills and Pazian's musical prowess. This phase of Tyler's life highlighted his versatility and ability to navigate various entertainment realms. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.